Memorial Day weekend is upon us. The weather looks nice, and with it, many of us will be getting outside. Well, high on that list is fishing for millions of anglers around the country. Here in the Chicago area, one charter boat captain is considered to be rods and reels above the rest. His name is Dan Keating. WGN's Patrick Elwood shares with us this Mariner's ultimate catch. It's early afternoon on a beautiful May day. And the call of the wild awaits the unmistakable sights and sounds of Lake Michigan salmon fishing. So when a fish hits these, you're going to see that rod start yanking on it. Leading the way is Captain Dan Keating, along with his first mate, Josh Slawkin. The past few years, the, the salmon fishing has been very good. Two spoons in the rest are flies right now. Captain Dan is considered to be the best salmon fish finder on the Great Lakes. We all need to get outside, get the fresh air, the water, the sun. But this real Aquaman is so much more than that. At one time, wild child. I spent years running, uh, looking, trying to uh, fill the emptiness in me with the pleasures of this world. Turned husband, father, minister. It was out on the water making a living where I met the real Jesus. Motivational speaker and life coach. Some of them, you know, it's like people. Some have more attitudes. <laughs> Don't really go, and some of them will come right in. Out with me today for our very own three hour cruise is my friend and colleague Demetrius Ivory. Either he quit, oh no, he's still there. And buddy John Maher, my co anchor Dina Bear's hubby. But this mariner's tale began many, many moons ago. Captain Dan spent many days of his youth with his dad, Tom. Here they are at Burnham Harbor in 1980. Just one of many Kodak moments through the years. But as he graduated high school, he went off course. When I was 18, I was a bit confused. That, to be honest, I was really messed up. I was unsure of what path to follow. Meandering from one college to another, he graduated from the fifth UIC. I spent a lot of my life running from God. And, you know, I was raised in a Christian home, but when I turned 18 and went off to college, I just kind of rejected everything. And it's because I didn't, it wasn't my faith. It was my parents' faith. And uh, somehow through all of it, I didn't kill myself. And, and Jesus just pursued me through the storms. But while the deeper devotion to Jesus was new, fishing was always a mainstay. Dan started his own fishing charter business at the age of 18 out of Waukegan Harbor. And in time, lo and behold, it was the slipstream that led to the biggest catch of his life. I met her on my boat. Um, her dad and brothers were longtime charter customers and she came out one year on her birthday. And it was, uh, we had a great catch of fish, beautiful day. The her that Dan believes heaven sent from above is Mary. Yes, her name is Mary and Mary liked fishing too. And a line of thunderstorms came in and it just started pouring. And uh, the brother's dad ran to the car and hid and she stood in the pouring rain with the bags as we bagged up the fillets after cleaning them. And she was soaking wet. So I lent her a sweatshirt, uh, knowing that I would have to meet her again to get my sweatshirt back. And you know, wow, the rest is history. And her story too. Together they would travel the globe and encounter people and places few Americans would ever see like a month in the Maldives. My wife is from Northeast India, and so her uncle was the Deputy High Commissioner for India, and so she was close with that, with her uncle and her cousin, and so we, we spent a month there, just kind of off the beaten path. And we met uh, Mohammed Halim, and he, and, you know, I told him I was a fisherman, I had rods and reels, and he was like, I'm taking you fishing. And so he knew the reefs around the Maldives and it's some just great fishing. Four children, stop the presses. Four children, a son-in-law and grandson later. The captain is a man in demand. Five books and two DVDs later, amateurs, novices and experts alike. And as that net suddenly filled with fish. Chart a course to his knowledge of the angling life, which is the name of one of his books. The Angling Life, a fisherman reflects on success, failure, and the ultimate catch. This 169-page tome may be Captain Keating's opus. I believe it is no coincidence that a ragtag group of these ancient fishermen became central characters in the gospel narrative of Jesus Christ. 
Weaving metaphors and scripture on navigating life's choppy waters, we all encounter. The lake can be violent, the waves can be incredibly large, the storms can come up, and it also can be really beautiful and calm. And it's really no different than life because we've got calm seasons in life and then we all face different challenges and struggles. So critical to his mission, life coaching sessions, inspiring men to live their best lives possible in the spirit of divinity. Getting back to our excursion, Lake Michigan offered up her bounty, where we caught fish after fish after fish. Enjoying the moment, I shall name this fish Jonah. And each other's company. Uh oh, he's coming easy. Salmon fillets all around to be prepared for supper sometime soon. I mean, fishing is just a great way for uh, uh, families to bond and connect. Family and friends too. But gospel truth be told, that's a parable I learned from this middle-aged man and the sea. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Love you. Okay. Many, many waves ago. Come on now, let's go, baby. Patrick Elwood. Here's another one, right here, right here, right here. Chopper. Oh, it's a heavy fit. WGN News. <laughs> nice haul there, huh? <laughs> And the state of Illinois sold more than 625,000 fishing licenses.